bless the Lord with me this morning. Hallelujah. He is good. Isn't he good? Isn't he faithful? If you were to list all the things that God did for you, how long would that take you? We are so accustomed to be able, you know, to keep track of the bad things, the bad things that happens in our lives. We keep track of it. But when it's time to list the good things, we have to really think long and hard about it. If I ask you what's going wrong in your life right now, you can just reel it off your tongue so simply. And if I say, what's the good thing happening in your life now, you might have to pause for a moment and think about it. Praise God. But this morning, God has been good. He has been good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus hallelujah come on and just worship him before we get into the word praise god i know we are so accustomed many times to just you know listening to music and then worshiping based on the words of the song but i'm a firm believer of blessing the lord with the fruits of the lips the fruits coming from your heart because the word of god says that out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks a praise god and so out of the depths of your heart this morning raise a worship to your god raise a praise to your god for all the things that he has done for you my god hallelujah he deserves ah he deserves the praise he deserves the the worship God we bless you this morning we bless you King of Kings we bless your holy name God we magnify your holy name you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be lifted up who is like unto you God there is no one my God no one in this earth uh, beneath the earth above the earth my God can compare to who you are and this morning, God, we are grateful. This morning, oh God, we are humbled by you, God, to know that we have this privilege to come into your presence. The King of all kings, that I am, that I am, my God. And here we are in your presence. Many did not live to see today, but here we are, God, and we are grateful, my God. And we thank you, hallelujah, for sparing us, mighty God. Oh, Father. Father, we bless you this morning. Mm. Oh, be glorified, Lord. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified, Jesus. Be glorified this morning. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. Oh, you kept us from accidents, my God. Hallelujah. Many of us have faced death, my God, on more than one occasion, but you spared us. You kept us, my God. Hallelujah. We will not let stones and sticks cry out in our place this morning, God, but we open our mouths and we worship you, my God. Thank you, Lord. We bless your God hallelujah come on and give him a clap offering where you are just lift him up hallelujah thanks be to God thanks be to God thanks be to God hallelujah this morning I have a very simple and short mission very short word for someone this morning hallelujah but before I get into the word let me just go ahead and open up in prayer and so father we thank you for this beautiful day that you have made lord we will rejoice and we will be glad in it my god we thank you for sparing us my god to come here on this platform another time my god we pray that as we gather here you said where two or three are gathered touching anything concerning you you are in the midst and so father we welcome you in our midst this morning and we ask you mighty god to reign we ask you god to lead my god you know your people better than anyone can and so lord you know the hearts that are on this platform this morning you know the individual needs god you know the word my god that your children 
extra need for today god for this week god for this season that they are in and so god i ask you lord to let that be the word that will come forth this morning in the name of jesus lord prepare our hearts to receive god and i pray that it will transform our lives in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah this morning hallelujah this just came to my thoughts to share with you hallelujah that it is well it is well it is well i hear you know i have a, a friend and everything i say to him he is like it is well and i'm like but what do you mean it is well nothing is manifesting as well too much chaos too much problems going on and you will tell him the most the, the, the most devastating situation anything that is going on in your life and his response is it is well and so this morning i'm here to tell you it is well it is well it is well that's your word for today it is well Romans 8 and verse 28. We know that scripture. We repeat that scripture. Great morning, Pastor Monica. We, re we repeat that scripture over and over and over. Praise God. And it says, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. All things work together for your good. All things, the bad things, all things everything everything works together for your good it is well you may not be able to, to 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 see the end of the tunnel everything might be going wrong every everything is turned upside down in your life right now it seems like your back is up against the wall but it, it is well it is well hallelujah it is well and you know sometimes it just needs you to speak that word into your life speak that word over your circumstances speak that word over your health it is well all things must work together all things must work together praise god i i, I want us the people of god to get to a place in our walk with the lord where the word of God is not just something that we read because it is something that we are to read to be a good Christian. Let the word of God be your truth. Let it be, hallelujah, as my apostle calls it, the constitution that will govern your life. Let it be that. Let it be that. When situations start to go chaotic in my life, there are days when I'm like, even for this week, this whole week that has just started, it seems like it's the longest week of my life already. Praise God, where I have something to submit. And, and things started to go wrong. Systems started to go down. Software stopped working. My God, everything just seemed like it was just going haywire. And I'm like, God, what is going on? Lord, I am stressed out. I need your intervention. I need you to step in, my God. And I just hear the whisper in my heart, it is well. And when I shared what was going on with a friend of mine, she said, don't you see? what is working in your favor the systems and everything went down because you needed extra time my god i didn't even think about it that way i was panicking i was frantic trying to figure out oh my god what am i gonna do praise god and she said to me don't you see you got more time this is like an unofficial extension so even though I was panicking, even though it seemed like I was in trouble, praise God, it was an unhallelujah official extension that I needed. 
sometimes praise God the things that we think are not going in our favor because we are looking at it in one way through one lens we are perceiving it in one way my God is God working something out in our favor he is moving in our favor hallelujah you may not see it praise God there is a saying delayed but not denied my God the delay that you are looking at my God and saying mighty God what is this what is going on why is this not moving in the way that I thought it would it can be people of God the move of God giving you another chance giving you time to wrap up some things that needs to be wrapped up praise God giving you some time to spend it in his presence time that you needed hallelujah that time you had to take off from work and you're thinking about the bills that needs to be paid you're thinking about uh, my God hallelujah all of the things that needs to be done it's a time where you are able to just rest some of our bodies they need rest my God, sometimes our minds, they need rest. And the only way for it to be rested is when we are not well. That's the only time we are sitting down. That's the only time we are willing to sit down and rest. What's going wrong in your life? What is going wrong? And I put the wrong in ear quotes this morning. Because the word of God tells us all things. So it means that even if it's going wrong, it will work together for good. And I was, as I was thinking about it this morning, the, 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 the thought came to my mind about Jesus' crucifixion. Now, because sometimes, you know, the Lord will allow things to happen in your life, right? The enemy will be raging war against you. He will be orchestrating his plans against you because he thinks he is winning. He thinks he has the upper hand. He thinks this means victory for him. But I want someone to know and understand this morning that it has a role to play in the fulfillment of God's divine plan in your life. The enemy thought that when Jesus got arrested, that when Jesus was being beaten, hallelujah, that when Jesus was being nailed to the cross, he thought he had the upper hand. He thought, look at this one claiming to be God. Does he think he is greater than me? He thought he won. He thought, my God, hallelujah, this word is for someone. I feel it connecting with someone this morning. He thought he won. But God, but when Jesus gave up the ghost, he realized that he was in trouble hallelujah because jesus knew who he was jesus trusted his father someone here this morning you are not trusting your father your faith has grown weak and weary and you are giving the enemy the upper hand you are the one giving him without you giving him the upper hand there is no way he can get it and you're murmuring and you're complaining and you're acting defeated forgetting the word of god that says you are victorious forgetting the word of god that says all things must work together for good while the enemy is over there having a party and saying yes i have gotten this one if we would rise up and declare the word of God over our lives, if we would rise up and take authority, my God, and speak into our situation and say, situation, I command you by the word of God to work together for my good. Mando Shanda Dabosa. I command you by the word of God to align to align and work for my good. You have no option situation. That's the word of God. And we know the word, hallelujah, tells us that angels are commanded to move at the word of God. Just imagine declaring the word of God into your situation. You activate your angels to go in and shift anything that is out of alignment and realign it.
But what does the enemy do? do? What he does, people of God, is he comes into your mind and he toys with your mind and he tells you, he shows you the negative in everything and you stop praying. Where is your prayer life? I feel the Holy Spirit asking someone this morning, what happened to your prayer life? What, what happened to your prayer life? You don't pray anymore. You don't seek his face anymore. It's like you have, for want of a better word, backslidden. You have, you have retreated. You have withdrawn yourself from his presence. Because you thought that he was going to work your situation in another way. But yet still, this is how it's unfolding. You don't enter his presence anymore. You show up because you don't want people asking questions. But in your heart, you are not there. You're like what the Bible says. You, you confess him with your mouth, but your heart is far from him. Hallelujah. The situation that you're allowing to pull you away from God is the situation that you should use, my God, to catapult you into his presence, to spend more time with him, to, to, to seek his face, because it must work together for good. There are times when I would sit and I would look at the situations and I would say, Lord, your word tells me that this must work together for my good now your word also tells me you are not a man that you should lie and your word also tells me that heaven and earth will pass away before your word returns to you void your word also tells me that you watch over your word to perform it i'm expecting that this is working out it, this must work it has no choice but to work out and i'm gonna sit and watch it unfold in my favor because that's your word that is your word to me and i trust you i believe your word because your word is truth that's what it means hallelujah to live the word of god to believe the word of god to declare the word of god over your life over your mind over your health over your finances over your children over everything in your life life i command you to align and work for my good situation work for my good i don't see how it is possible but with god all things are possible lord you are the one who specializes in impossible situation this is impossible here it is because he says praise god that we should cast our burdens on him that we have a tendency and this is what a worry is Worry is really when we, 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 we spend the time focusing on things that we have no control over. Let's do this instead. Instead of spending all your time focusing on what you cannot do, how about you do what you can and give the rest to God? It's like a relay, right? There is a leg of the race that belongs to you. But the other leg belongs to whomever is in front. God is in front. Praise God. Do what you can do and hand the baton over to him. And say, Lord, I have done all I can. I have done my part. My part is what I did. Is the praying. Is, is the seeking. And the, 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 you're seeking for a job. You send out the application. That's your part. Your part is not to sit and think about who is going to call me. Think about am I, am I going to get the job? Am I qualified? Why haven't they called? No. Your part was to send out the application. The, 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 the other part to hand over to God is the rest of it. What is it that you are hoarding to yourself? You're pulling it to yourself and you're like, but God, but God, but God. No, do what you can do. And leave the rest to him. Because it must work out. It must work out for your good. It is well. We need to speak some it is well in our lives. It is well. 
it is well it is well my bank account is empty but it is well it is well I feel pain in my body but it is well 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 because well. all things must work together for your good all things all things everything all things excludes nothing which means that every single situation hallelujah thank you jesus for this word every single situation you are faced with today must work together for your good because you are being called for a purpose because you love god increase our love for you lord because you love him hallelujah he must work together for your good and so where we have murmured let us repent where we have complained let us repent where our faith has grown weary ask the lord and say help my unbelief lord strengthen my faith in you because i truly want to believe your word listen god knows it doesn't make sense if you're struggling with your faith to, to be there and, and deny that you're struggling with your faith i would say lord i really want to believe you in this area but i'm struggling help me to believe you help me to trust you in this area because i am struggling and I know that I need to have faith in you, but my faith is weak. My faith is wavering. So I need your help, Lord, to build my faith. I need your help, my God, to love you more. God, I want to love you more. Give me that love. Give me more love to love you, my God. Hallelujah. Like we're praying like we're praying. We're not praying and saying, you know, there is a, there is a certain way that we were raised to pray. But we, we need to pray practically today and be honest and open in our prayers because he already knows. He looks at the inward part. He reads your heart. It doesn't make sense for you to say one thing with your mouth because it sounds good, but your heart is somewhere else say exactly what is in your heart lord i want to love you more my god i don't just want to say but i want to show you that i love you my god teach me how to love teach me how to love you teach me how to receive your love so that i can love others too my god teach me how to be faithful teach me mighty god everything and anything that you need the lord to teach you teach me how to trust you god teach me how to trust that all things are working out for my good teach me lord show me how because right now i don't know right now my god there is nothing in me that believes this god but i want to believe your word i want to believe the truth god show me how teach me how teach me god that is what the holy spirit's ministry is all about praise god he is our teacher and he will teach us how to do these things praise god and i've shared before about the ministry of the holy spirit praise god and so this morning whatever you need lessons in he is the master teacher teach me holy spirit teach me holy spirit teach me i am a student teach me and you take out your book and your pen you can take out a literal book and a pen or the book and the pen in your heart and take notes because whatever you ask him in accordance to his will he will grant it to you but the word this morning it is well it is well it is well my god that word is calming some seas some stormy seas in your life this morning you've been praying you've been seeking the lord and you've been asking him for a word and you stumbled upon this broadcast and you have heard it is well because all things must not might not maybe all things must must is a command it must work together must work it has no other choice it has no 
option no options it must work together for your good there is no loophole no lawyer can be put on the case of this word to find a loophole in the word must it must work together for good the only person who has the authority to prevent this from working together for your good is you you are the only person who can stop that and the enemy has been using us against ourselves he has been using us against ourselves but somebody said no more say not anymore not anymore i will not be used against myself as an instrument to stop the blessings from flowing not anymore i know better and i do better because word of god tells me everything must work together it must must work together bless you bless you bless you hallelujah that's the word of the lord to you today hallelujah romans 8 and verse 28 it is well it is well it is well and today i know the how the enemy operates praise god we're not weary concerning his devices he's gonna test this word in your life watch out he's coming to test this word you just declare all oh, it is well oh he's coming to test that it is well but in the name of jesus we declare we go into our day and we declare it is well over our day into our future we declare it is well every situation it is well in the name of jesus hallelujah praise god hallelujah father we thank you for your word this morning god we thank you mighty god that you know where we are what we need and you give it to us god hallelujah we thank you mighty god for the reassurance the reminder that it is well mighty god that everything must work together for our good and we thank you for that this morning we thank you for that reminder we thank you god for the elevation in our faith this morning to believe and receive this word my god and to apply to every area of of our lives in the name of Jesus God I thank you mighty God that this word my God has been seared into our minds and our hearts Lord God and that it cannot be removed by no and any circumstances that come in our lives God it cannot my God remove this word from our remembrance this morning in the name of Jesus because as often as we need this word it will come to the forefront of our minds and it will proceed from our lives lips it is well in the mighty name of Jesus because we know who we are we know what you have given to us and how you have created us my God to operate and so we align this morning to your perfect will we align this morning God to the perfect end that you have for us in the mighty name of of Jesus father even now I pray over the plug conference that is coming up mighty God I pray hallelujah that it will be one of impact mighty God even now God I pray that the atmosphere God around that conference will uh, God be charged with the anointing God the yoke breaking anointing my God that everyone who comes in contact Lord God with the conference God that their lives will be transformed my God they will never be the same my god they will be reconnected revived and released into this world god for such a time as this lord as end time ministers god to bring souls into your kingdom my god as we populate the kingdom of heaven mighty god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth bless the ministers of this platform my god i pray that you will cover them cover their homes cover my god our, our cover our homes cover our families mighty god cover everything concerning us bless our plug fa family lord in the name of jesus god we declare expansion mighty god in the name of jesus bless everything connected to them lord everyone who have been predestined lord god to join the plug family lord i pray they will locate us in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen 
and amen lord and every and anyone who is watching this lord who is hearing this mighty god who have not yet come my god into a relationship with you lord god they have not yet accepted you as their lord and their savior lord god i pray for an encounter with you god in the name of jesus for we know that when we encounter you we can never remain the same in jesus name we have prayed amen and amen praise god hallelujah god bless you people of god